What's going on guys, Datawa here, and today I'm going to be telling the story of how I got lost in a multi-million dollar home. So, our story begins when my mom is invited by her mentor to this reunion, and we were invited to because the whole family of her of my mom so was my, was going to be able to go. So that would be me, my brother, and my my father. So we were familiar with the location and it wasn't hard to get there since we were very familiar with uh with where to go. It was kind of, it was just the you know the addresses to get into the streets. We knew like very well where to go and all that stuff. It was just, you know, the specific address was what we had a little bit of problems with, but that could solve the GPS very quickly. So once we got there, we were looking for my mom's mentor and her husband, which is also great friends with my dad. But we couldn't see them. We, we were not able to f we find them. We tried calling them. They did not respond. So eventually we got tired of waiting for them. We just got we just got off and we were greeted by this man who was driving a not a golf cart, but one of those carts that moves very fast. And man, that, that thing was very fast. I've never been on, on one of those things before. So I was not familiar with how fast it could go. I really underestimated its speed. So he drives us uphill to the house. And once I got to see it in person, I was absolutely starstruck. I'm not going to lie. My dad told me to try and compose myself. But honestly, I'm just a sucker for beautiful homes and I've never really got to see I've never really got to be able to see one in person. So when I saw that one, I I I was enamored. So we were greeted by the owner of this home and he presented us to his son and they were both very kind, very very uh very very kind people. Very kind. They were very nice to us the entire time. They were very inspirational, you know, they were telling stories of how, the, you know, you could make it and it's possible and you just got to, you know, stay true to your word, you got to work on your craft, you know, all these inspirational stories. So, yeah, I mean, eventually I just sat down and decided to start talking to a other group of people. We talked about the the business for a while and we also talked a little bit about, you know, stuff from the past, you know, just rel reliving a few memories of ours. Even though I had never met these people in person, they were very, very social with me. And they talked to me as if they had known me forever, which is something that I struggle with. I'm not that social, as some of you may know. But however, after a while, I had to go to the bathroom. I needed, I needed to go to the bathroom because I had been eating tacos. And if you know from my previous uh, story of the woman who went number one in public, you would know of how I struggle with, uh, you know, keeping my stomach intact and I need to use the restroom straight away after eating something. So I asked somebody, hey, can you take me to the bathroom? I need to go. And sure, yeah, they, they said yes. And uh, the, the mentor of my mom's mentor's husband took me to the bathroom, well, guided me. And he took me into this, this bathroom. It wasn't really a bathroom because... I think they call those half bathrooms because they don't have a shower. But I mean, I, I didn't care. I needed the toilet. So I didn't need the shower. So I went to the bathroom, you know, did my business. Let's move on. However, when I had to get out, uh, he had left. So I didn't know which door I had to take to get out. So basically to go back out through where I originally went in, there was this living room that I had to go by. And I had to find this door, but this door was also surrounded by other doors. And I didn't want to open the, the wrong door because I, you know, I, it's not my business. It's not my house. I, I, I shouldn't be there. And plus I had met these homeowners of this beautiful home for the first time. And I didn't want to cause a terrible impression. First impressions really matter a lot, at least to me. So what I end up doing is I end up doing a circle around the living room, around the doors rather, and then I come back out through the living room and I have a, I, I mean, I can't look at my face, so I don't know, but I know for a fact that I had a very confused and lost look on my face until the wife of, of, the, of this 
of this home, of the wife who lives in this home, of the man, said, are you lost? And I said, yes, I am. And then she said, oh, it's okay. Just go out through the, the sliding door. And I said, oh, okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I apologized, but I felt like I needed to apologize because uh, I, I don't know. I, I was just embarrassed at the time. I, I was just embarrassed in the moment. I didn't know what to say. The first thing that came to my mind was to apologize and say, I'm sorry. She was very nice. She said, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. So I, I go out through the sliding door. I cover my face with my hand and I say, oh my gosh. Oh my God. How embarrassing. And then the first person I see outside is my dad. And he said, what's wrong? And I said, uh, dad, I just, uh, did a little bit of a dummy. He said, what do you mean? I was trying to go out through the door where I originally was taken to go to the bathroom, but I got lost because there were so many doors and I didn't want to take the wrong one. And then I ended up doing a circle and I came back to the living room. And then the, the woman that owns this house saw me and said, are you lost? And then I said, yes. And then she's, and then she just said, just go out through the sliding door. And, and my dad found it so hysterical and then I, I decided to tell my brother, too. I was like, hey, bro, I, I, you won't believe it. He said, what happened? I said, when I went to the bathroom, I, when I was trying to find out the door that I went out, when that I went in to go out, I got lost because there was other doors in this area because this house is so big. What I ended up doing, like, like I told my dad, I did, I did a circle, ended up back in the living room. And then the lady who well, who owns the house said, are you lost? And then I told her, yes. And then, I, and then she told me, just go out through the sliding door. And he also had a similar reaction. He, he laughed and just said, huh. So, yeah, that was the story. Uh, I told a few more people about this incident. They found it hysterical, too. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it was kind of good because I got out uh, a few laughs out of some people and... The event went well overall. Like I said, everyone was filled with um, inspiration. Everyone was super inspired and everyone just seems to love what they do. And it's also something that I would like to get into. Like I said, I don't think I, I don't know if I said it, but I would like to get into this, what they, what they do, but it's going to take a while and with time, it'll eventually happen. You'll see. Overall, these people were very nice, like I said, and yeah, we might be going to another reunion very soon, and I cannot wait, because this time I will be ready to know how to get out of the house, get in and get out. All right, anyways, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed the story, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff, because I will be telling more stories soon. I know my, my, my first story, my woman goes number one in public, was... Quite a while ago, uh, I apologize. It's just, I'm kind of skeptical on which stories to tell. But this one was very recent, and I thought it'd be great to share it. Because I have the full memory of it in my head. So, yeah, that's why I decided to share this one. Anyways, take care, and peace.